How to be firm without dominating. Hi, welcome to Bilingual Family TV, the place to be if you want to create meaningful relationships with your child while learning Spanish. Today we will continue on our discussion of Children the Challenge by Rudolf Dreikers, and today's chapter is be firm without dominating. So, this is so important because we have to be firm in order to maintain order and really children want to have limits. Whether you see it or not, they really do want to feel secure and know what to expect, know what they can do and what they can't do. But overall, they just, they want to know, just like we do, we want to know what's expected of us. We want to know that there are certain boundaries and certain things that will keep us safe and that we have people around us who love us and want to create an environment of safety and harmony. When we talk about being firm, we're being firm because we want to create that environment for our children. We want our children to feel safe and we also want them to um, feel that they know what's expected and feel comfortable with um, the routine of the household or the routine of the school and the way that the school or house community works together. So what you are not doing is you're not making a decision for your children. You're making a decision for yourself. And one example that's illustrated in the book is a mom with twins in the back of the car and they're, you know, they they fight they fight with each other and she ignores them and then when it gets really bad, really violent, that's when she and she gets violent too. She turns around and yells at them to stop. And so what he says is that by doing that, by waiting until until you have to be violent to stop their behavior, they learn that they don't really need to listen to you until you get violent. What he suggested for this specific example is the mom simply deciding that it is not safe to drive the car while there's children fighting in the back. So she simply decides to stop. She decides to stop. So the mom pulls over and she stops the car and she tells the children, I will not drive until we have peace and calm in the car or until there's you know a safe environment for me to drive so that's basically what he's saying it's about taking control of what you are going to do and choosing what your response is going to be to certain things and really a lot of it goes with planning because if you know that every time you go to the grocery store certain things happen or every time you get to the candy aisle or something, certain things happen, you need to decide ahead of time what you're going to do, what you are going to do. Because the truth is, whether it's children or adults, you can't control someone else. They're going to do, you know, what they want to do. But if you have a good relationship with them and they they care about what you're going to do and what your, your decision is going to be, um, you have a better chance of influencing their behavior. So not only are you choosing what you're going to do, like the example of the mom in the car, she decided she's not going to drive until circumstances and everything is calm enough for her to drive. She's making that choice. So just like you are making that choice, you can also allow your children to have a choice. So for example, if you're having family over or friends over and your children are in the living room with you, they're being really loud and throwing things around and just, you know, being, it's too much of a distraction for what you're doing. You can give them a choice. You can say, now you can stay here with us as long as you can keep it a quiet voice and not throw things around. But if you can't do that, then you can go to your room. Like, they have the choice. Here's the difference. The difference would be, okay, that's enough. You're being too loud. You are out of control. You're going to your room. The child has no choice in, in that, right? It's just, you are, you know, you're doing all these things, you're leaving. By giving them the choice 
And it's, and again, it goes back to relationships. I'm sorry. It's just so important. Relationships are so important. So if you have that relationship with your child, he's going to want to stay in there and hang out with you and your friends and hang out with family or whoever is there. Um, and he's going to make the choice himself of calming himself down and uh, stepping up to the expectations of that group at that point in time of what what's expected in that area and so he's going to choose to calm himself down and stay there if he doesn't he can go to his room but that's a choice he makes and so later if if a situation like this comes again you don't have to raise your voice you don't have to punish them send them in time out you can simply say can you stay here with a low voice and staying calm or do you need to go to your room you know you can choose which one you would like to do so i i love dry curves and sometimes it's really hard to put theory into practice but he gives great examples of what he calls mother, what mother should do in one case or the other. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Adios.